hello everyone welcome back to my channel for this video i'm going to be showing you how i got this look super super cute super gorgeous pink and blue cut crease i absolutely love this look super easy to achieve also i am loving this ear candy do y'all see that that is super cute this earring is from marissa's manor it's a new black owned accessories company they're online make sure you go check them out the link will be posted in the description box go ahead and sign up and become one of her girlfriends and she will hook you up and let her you know when she has new sock in go ahead and keep on watching for all the details on this look So first we're going to go ahead and get started by priming my eyelid with some concealer. For this look, I'm going to be using my changeable fantasy palette that I got from Amazon. I'm going to be starting with this pink color and I'm going to go ahead and place this color at the top part of my eyelid right underneath my brow bone. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into my eyelid. Please bear with me during this video. I'm starting to lose my voice. So if my voice sounds a little weird, that's why. <laughs> After I have that blended really well, I'm going to take this purple eggplant color and I'm going to blend that into the crease of my eyelid. When that is well blended, I'm going to take this navy blue color and I'm going to blend that into the outer corner of my eyelid.
once that is well blended, it's time for us to go ahead and cut this crease. Now I'm going to do a half cut crease. And I do have a hooded eye. So right where I see that my skin kind of hangs up, I'm going to go a little bit above that. But I like to start lower first just to kind of get my momentum and then go ahead and gradually take it up. So I'm starting on the lower part of my eyelid, putting the concealer, and then I will gradually take that concealer up above where my eyelid begins to fold and blend that. I'm not going to take it all the way over, I'm taking it about halfway, and then I'm going to use my finger to blend that into um, my eyelid so it can have a nice um, blended look. I'm going to take this shimmer blue color and I'm going to use that where I have put the concealer. I'm just taking my brush and tapping that in there because I want that part to pop. I want it to be bold, really shiny, really bright. So I'm tapping it in there so the color can be as vibrant as possible. And then I'm going to be blending it into that navy blue color that I already have there. Now as I was doing my cut crease, I kind of lost a little bit of that eggplant color. So I'm just going to take that brush that I used for that color and just go right into that crease and bring it back. I did not go and grab any more of the color. I just used the brush to kind of bring that color back a little bit. Um, I didn't want it to be too harsh, so I didn't grab more of the color. So I wanted to just bring that color out, that purple eggplant color out a little bit more. So this is how it looks when I am finished and I'm going to go ahead and add my eyeliner and my eyelashes. I've added my lashes and my eyeliner and now I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm going to start by priming my face. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Blemish Control Primer. For this look, I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. If you saw my other video on the, my review on Juvia's Place Foundation, I used the color Nairobi. However, it was too light for me, so I decided to try it again. I had another sale going on. It's 50% off. So I only paid like $10 for it, but I, this is the color Burkina. And I feel like this is a much better um, match for my face. Uh, the Nairobi was much too light for me but this um, Burkina is definitely a great match for me I mean it's almost perfect so definitely thumbs up for this foundation I did notice um, as I had it on that it does have like a little oily kind of finish just it's not very much but just a tad bit but it wasn't anything that really bothered me that much it's just something that I noticed so just keep that in mind if you're considering this I'm going to be setting this with my Huda Beauty setting powder in the color Cinnabon Now I'm going to go ahead and get ready to get this waterline together. I'm going to go on the outer corner of my waterline and apply that navy blue color that I use. In the middle, I'm going to be applying the eggplant color. And in the inner corner, I'm going to be applying the sh light shimmer blue color. To 
a highlight, I'm going to be using Juvia's Place Concealer in the color 13. Now I'm going to set this with Juvia's Play Setting Powder in the color Gobi. If you would like a more detailed description of how I highlight and contour, make sure you click the button that is scrolling up at the top of your screen now. It is the detailed video that I've created on how I highlight and contour. I'm giving you all the details. I'm going to go ahead and contour my lips with this lip liner. It is in the color Plum. I love lining my lips because my lips are very full, so it makes them look a little bit smaller and just look more framed. So after that, I'm going to, in the middle, go in with NYX Matte Lip Cream in the color Istanbul. All right, y'all, this is the end result. Super cute. I love this pink and blue eyeshadow. I mean, this is so cute. And it was so easy. Thank y'all for watching me like this. Like, okay. And it goes so good with this earring. Listen, Marissa's manner is the bomb. Y'all make sure y'all go check out her website. The link will be posted in the description box. Make sure you put in your email and sign up so you can receive notifications and become a part of her girlfriend team. Great black on business. Very professional. Like seriously, quality products, you will not be disappointed. Let's support each other, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, share, share this video. And until next time, y'all be safe. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it. Oh yeah, and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this one.
hit that bell button so you can receive notifications of new videos that are posted. See you next time.